Okay, guys, today we're going to talk about uh, road signs in music. If you're looking at a piece of music, uh, just imagine that there are notes in this on the staff, and I'm going to read the song and perform it. What order, if this were the measure numbers, notice I've just got the measures up here numbered. There's only 10 measures in this song. And if I said, what's the order of performance? Use the measure numbers and tell me the order I would perform these measures. Well, right here, this is pretty easy. I start with measure one and I go one through 10 and the song, there's that double bar, is over. Okay, well, that's pretty pretty simple. But if I'm a composer and I want to repeat a certain part, let's say I really like the first four measures and I want the performer to repeat it, I would use the most basic road sign after measure four I would put a repeat sign. Now, dots go on this side. You want the performer to go back. So now I've made this a little longer. I'm going to start in measure one and go measure one, two, three, four. At the end of four, I hit those repeats. So I'm going to repeat everything before it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so one through four, one through ten. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. Well, what if I um, decided that I wanted to repeat measures five through eight? I'm gonna put me another repeat sign right here. But I don't want you to go all the way back to measure one. I, would, I just want you to repeat this part. I'm gonna put dots on this side. Now, this made it a little more complex. If I said, what's the order of the performance of these measures now. Okay, remember, dots throw you back either all the way to the beginning or to dots facing the opposite direction. Notice these dots are facing each other, so I'm going to repeat what's in the middle of that when it's time. Okay, so I'm going to start in one. I'm going to go one through four. I hit dots. I go back. Now I'm going to keep going. I've already repeated, so I'm going to keep going. So one through four, bounce back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hit dots again. I get thrown back to those dots, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have gone one through four, one through eight, five through ten. Now, one more road sign are endings. So if I put a bracket right here above this measure and I wanted to put a one right there and then over here I'm going to put a two under that bracket. Those are called endings. You only do what's under a bracket. It could be several measures or just a single measure like this. You only do it one time. Okay? There will always be a repeat at the end of the first one. There could be more than two um, and it keeps making you go back to a certain spot coming up there. Now once I get, once I perform what's in this measure the first time I hit it. I'm not going to do it again. When I come to it I'm going to skip it. Okay? So let's look at our order now. So I'm going to start at the beginning of this song. Okay, here we go. We're going to go one through four, repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I repeat. Five, six, seven. I've already done that first ending in measure eight. So I'm skipping from seven over to the second ending and do measure nine, ten. Again, I didn't, I didn't perform that measure again because it, I only do it the first time I hit it. So that order would be one through four, one through eight, five through seven, nine through 10. Okay, let's look at this example I have here. Okay, order of performance of this would be one, two, Three. Notice those dots are on the other side, so I keep going. I haven't hit those dots yet, but I'm going to kind of put a little note in my mind. This is where I'm coming back to. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I hit the dots. Go back to, not the very beginning, but back to the dots in four, five, six. I skip the first ending and go to the second ending, nine and ten. Okay. So the order of performance of that song would be one through eight, four, five, six, nine, ten. 